We are speaking about the prophets and the prophetic voice that is challenging us in this season to walk accurately with God and that what He has for our lives. Where there's a lot of voices out there in this season, but may Holy Spirit arrest your heart and your spirit and your focus to understand what He's saying to you in this season. We've spoken about Jeremiah and what God said through him to the church to the nation of God, and we spoke about the word as a fire, a fire in our hearts, how God is making his word a fire in us, and that we must allow the word in such a way that it will become such a fire that we cannot but speak about God. We cannot but say what he is saying. May the church rise up in such a place that the church is so full of the word of God that it's like a fire in the church. The church cannot but speak. The church cannot be silent. That it will not be a fire that is so in us because of bitterness or, or, or anger and that we cannot keep it in but we just have to let it go because of the bitterness or the anger or the frustration. No, not anymore. The church will be filled with the word of God in such a way that the word will be that fire in them. That they just have to speak about God. Have to say what God is saying to the nations. Let it be so for our lives. But now also we are ending off with the word as a fountain. As a fountain of freshness in my life. We read together Jeremiah 2 verse 13. 2 verse 13, my people have committed two sins, God says through the prophet Jeremiah. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, the fountain of living water. They have forsaken, have forsaken me as the fountain of living water, the source, the source of freshness, the source for nourishment in their lives. And they've dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. We see in Proverbs 4 verse 23, Guard your heart, for out of it flow the springs of life. The fountain of life is coming forth from your heart. The God says he wants to be the fountain of life fountain of freshness for you so we're talking about our hearts god is addressing our hearts when he's putting it out there in that type of way let's take the next point there must be a heart to heart connection between god and you deep connection deep connection from your heart quality from your heart and the quality of his heart he wants to put on the table for you we see the, the heart of our Father in words like Jeremiah, through Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Plans to give you hope and a future. That is your father's heart for you. That is your father. That he has an excellent plan for your life. He wants you to prosper. He doesn't want to harm you. He doesn't want to put a lot of laws on you so that you cannot live a quality lifestyle. No. It is all for quality life that he wants you to protect you against that what the world wants to put on you. May God help you. May God help me. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The joy of the heart, the joy of our hearts in God's word, we find in Jeremiah 15. Jeremiah 15, verse 16. When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight. For I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight. Hearing God's word must bring a joy. Because the words must become a fountain. 
There must be a, this bubbling, this freshness rising up in me when I hear the word, when I take the word, when I make it part of my life, when I eat the word. That is what God wants from me and you. Let it be so. Let us not just hear the word and, and choose to agree or yes, I must change. I, yes, this is right. Yes, that is wrong. No. It must bring a freshness. It must come alive in me. That's why I cannot take the word without the Holy Spirit. That is what needs to happen. Amen. Then, we're talking about this broken rain buckets. If I must make bring that translation. This buckets that must catch all the water, but it's broken. Talking about our own plans. We're talking about Jeremiah 18 verse... 12. But they will reply, it is no use. We will continue with our own plans. We just read in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 about God has certain plans for us, plans to prosper us, not to harm us, plans to give us a hope and a future, an excellent future. That's the plans that God has for us. And Jeremiah is explaining the Father's heart for them. So that they can come back to the fountain of life, God himself. But they say no. No. It is no use. We will continue with our own plans. My brother, my sister, we can have our own plans. Because we think we have all these excellent ideas. We need to bring it before the Lord and hear, God, is this from you or not? We will all follow, and at the end of the day, the stubbornness of evil hearts. The stubbornness of evil hearts. And this, this, these broken buckets. These broken cisterns. May God set you free. May God set me free. That we will get rid of this stubbornness. Stubbornness of heart. That stands against the freshness. Coming from the fountain of life. God himself. God himself. That's Jeremiah 18 verse 12. And also 16 verse 12. Point number six, God will give you a different kind of heart. God will give you a different type, different kind of heart. We see in Jeremiah 24, verse 7. I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord. They will be my people and I will be their God, for they will return to me with all all their heart with everything they will put everything on the table i will give a heart of freshness in a different scripture we find also jeremiah 32 verse 38 to 41 talking about how god will give you a new heart a heart to know him a heart to respect him a heart to fear him fear him in the context of respect so it will be, so it will work for me, so it will work for you. Allow God to bring that quality heart in you. Yes, you've given your life to Christ, but let him work out that hardness, that stubbornness, where I can allow that poison that's actually poison of bitterness and unforgiveness and depression or negativity, no, we will not allow that anymore in our lives. Amen? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. But let's allow God to bring that quality heart in us. Point number seven. At the end of the day, God wants to be once again the fountain of life that you will draw from Him. I can say, yes, I draw from my God. But it, what is happening in your prayer life? If you are really drawing from Him, you will understand uh, how to, to come in prayer before the Lord. You will call unto Him. You will call unto Him and He will answer. So we see in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, even that it says, God says, Call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great, great, and marvelous things. God says, draw from me, draw from the depth of who I am, from your heart, as you call out unto me, and see, I will be there, I will be there, 
I will show you amazing things. I will surprise you in amazing ways. That's who I will be. It's in John 4 verse 14. And John 7 verse 37 and 38. That God says, I am the fountain of life. Who will drink from me? The one that will drink from me will never thirst ever again. Because freshness will be there. Because he will stay in that freshness. And I challenge you to, to stay in the freshness of that what God has for you. And that what he wants to develop in you. Remember therefore the essence. Jeremiah 31 verse 3. Yes, I've loved you with an everlasting love. Yes, from the depths of who I am, I'm there for you. I'm there for you. Therefore, I've drawn you with my loving kindness, with hospitality, with the open heart that you know you are so welcome with me. Father God, help us to understand the freshness that you want to bring in us. God, that we will not through dead works just try and do this, try and do that, try and survive in life with catching some water here and try to hold it here. But God, that there's a fresh fountain of life in us. That's you, God, through our spirit, in our heart. Help us to guard our hearts even so much more. Change us, Lord, into your likeness. Change us and Help us to understand how to guard our hearts, to bring the, the essence of freshness from our hearts for our lifestyles and our relationships, our dreams, through our thought patterns and that what you have for us, Lord. We honor you that you come and do that in Jesus' name alone. Amen. Amen.